Hey everyone, welcome to the restaurant show, and we've got a whole flounder here mm -hmm. with Chef Josh Castillo from Plums of Beaufort and Bluffton, Thank which you. is very exciting because I live right by that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so we have now. I'm guessing that this is probably a pretty popular item yes, on absolutely. the menu. Um, now this is the now. Let me just show you guys. Now, um, at, uh, Plums Beaufort is on the water, mm -hmm. and the. Bluffton one is right there by Kroger, yes. which like I said, I loved. So this you can get at either place. Yes. Just want to clarify locations. that right now. Because mm -hmm. there are some things that you guys do differently, but this is mm -hmm. one thing that is definitely yes. main at, staple. Yeah, main right. staple. Okay. So this is our kind of end product. Yes. <laughs> and are you going to show us how to do that? Yes, today? absolutely. I'm going to show you how to score the fish so you could get down deep into the bones to give you a nice little even cooking. Even cooking. While you're frying. And this is flounder. Yes. You can really do it with snapper. Any fish. Grouper, any kind of fish. Any kind of fish. But do you feel that the flatter the fish, it cooks better? Yes, absolutely. And also it gives you kind of like a little plate that you work on, especially yeah. for the salad we're going to build to go on top of. Okay, so we're going to do this with salad, but we're going to do that mm -hmm. later. But right now you're just going to show us mm -hmm. um, how to score this. And what scoring means is just basically, um, go, go ahead, chef. <laughs> I'm just done talking the whole time. <laughs> um, scoring the fish pretty much, we're going to um, go down and we're going to go on a bias cut. Okay. And what we're trying to do is give it nice little diamond hash marks, which gives you a nice presentation at and the same time. And that's what's going to give this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And then you have a fat side to the flounder, as I like to say, and then you have the skinny side. Okay. Um, which pretty is much which? the dark side is the fatter side of the fish. Oh. And then when you get down to the white ah. side, um, it actually hides from predators in the water by f swimming sideways. Very Discovery Channel. I like mm -hmm. it. <laughs> Okay, and so is that as thick though? Is no, the, it's, it's much not. thinner. Much thinner. Um, this is pretty much like the beach body for the summer. And yes. then you bulk up for the winter time on the other side. I don't I personally really don't know that beach body, but <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> okay, so when you're cutting through, you, you can actually I want to go feel down to the bone. To the bone. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Great. And then now you have these nice little grooves in here. Okay, let's move that over as your well, just so they can see a little better, but Absolutely. it's okay. You can you wanna put and it on now, there? A nice little it. trick if you don't want to keep Cleaning your cutting board at home. Right, right. I go yes, crazy absolutely. over it. No. Nice little piece of saran wrap. That way you know you're not Keep it nice killing and clean. anybody. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then you want to grab some seasoning and actually go and into get the right grooves. in there. Oh, I love that. And now again, this is the skinny side. Yes. Okay. And you're gonna do the same to the dark side of the fish. Gotcha. And this is the one actually that you're going to you're gonna serve yes. this side up. Okay. This side up. Exactly. And um, tell me what seasoning. I mean. Um, salt and pepper. Um, and then in your breader. You can add any kind of Cajun seasoning, right. um, garlic powders, and all whatever kinds of stuff. whatever your flavor profile mm -hmm. is going to be. But really, you're doing more of a southern southern oh, whole fried flour, southern whole fried flour. And now again, just salt and pepper. Just salt and pepper. Yeah, we don't want to. Mm -hmm. oh, what well, you could do black and things you like can, that. You can absolutely, um, but also kind of compensate for whatever you're going to accompany with it. This time we're doing a salad, exactly. so we're trying to keep it simple. Exactly. Okay. So now we are going. What we're going to do is we're going to do the salad. The salad for this, and this is yes. how you serve it at the restaurant. Yes. Okay. And um, what are we doing here? We have a carrot. Okay. We're peel real quickly. Great. And then we're going to add some tomatoes to it. We got some nice asparagus we blanched off. Okay. And some Vermont goat cheese. Oh, stop right there, goat cheese. I love it. Um, and pretty much, you know, depending on your knife skills, of right, course, right. I don't want nobody to take their fingers off. Right. Um, now you, you can, can also, also take the peeler perfect. and make little ribbons out of it. I love it. And just do that and put that over your fish. And now you are doing nice, thin, oh, great. And this is for the salad. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Yes, and you do want to be careful at home, but this is definitely gives it a whole different look. Mm -hmm. Um and nice texture, texture to it. Texture, color. And color, of course. Um, fresh ingredients, as yeah, always. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're just going to cut our tomato in half. OK, great. Any preference? It doesn't have to be a? It could be a Roma tomato, or cherry tomatoes, perfect. teardrops. Perfect. Um, this one, we're teardrops just gonna... are so pretty, but they're kind of hard to get, though, aren't they? They are. <laughs> so we're just going to de-seed this one, and we're oh. just going to go with the same strip concept that gotcha. we've been going OK, through. great. And to see it, you made that look so easy. <laughs> I'd be like sticking my fingers in there trying to get it, but you just slice it right off. Yeah, just slice Beautiful. it off, of course, be careful. We're just going to add this into our here, mixing bowl. Here, let's put bowl. that over here and then we begin to show everybody. See, as you can see, nice, thin strips. We're going to just cut our asparagus right in half. Okay. Oh, and add that perfect. To the mix. And I love that they're almost all the exact same size. Yes. You're good. <laughs> that would be like chunks here. <laughs> It took a long time for me to get there. I hear you. And this is now the nice peppery arugula. Mm -hmm. The nice peppery arugula. Love it. 
And then what if we're going to do If you didn't have here, arugula, was, is there another one that you might suggest? If, um, of course, you can use artisan lettuce, which have a nice little bunch which of Which are very radicchio. easy to get now. Mm -hmm. And that'll again add some nice color if, if you decide to do this or try it at home, definitely. Absolutely. Oh, so I just want to add some goat cheese yeah. to this. Good stuff right there. And um, now this is a Vermont goat cheese. Yes. Um, that's your preference? That's what you, right now, yes. That's what yeah. we're using okay. in the restaurant. You could use all kinds, everything under the sun. And this is your famous peach butter. Peach yes. It's so good. It is so good. Now, as you're as we're building the salad, so obviously you're going to mix that. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what you guys have going on for happy hour and, um, you know, different events that you have going on. For happy hour, we have a bunch of different drink specials. Okay. Um, and Fridays, we actually do a free oyster Friday now from 5 to 7. Free? Oyster Friday Free in Beaufort, oyster, though. In Beaufort location. Right yes. there in the water. So what? So you come in and you can get... You could come in, order you some drinks, sit at the oyster bar, and just eat oysters, or as many as you oh, want to your heart's my, content. Oh, I love it. <laughs> and that's every day, or no, I'm sorry, Only just Fridays. Fridays. Just Fridays. Um, but happy hour every day. Every day. At both locations. Both locations. Okay, just the oysters, mm -hmm. though, are just in Beaufort, so definitely, um, especially if you have people coming to town, what yes. a great treat to the bring holidays. them there. Yeah. And, um, okay, so we're going to we're gonna go and plate this, and... Um, I want to bring this over, and then what I like to do, I like to put a little bit of dressing down at the bottom. Yeah, absolutely. I love that part too. <laughs> I'm just gonna slide off the Oh, that looks right. so delicious, and it kind of keeps it in place mm -hmm. too. Great. And then we're gonna add a little bit more dressing to the top, of so course, it kind of soaks into the meat. Of course, because it would be rude not to. <laughs> <laughs> that looks delicious. And then just and it's on top. Side. Okay, love it. Right on top. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. With all your ingredients. Love it. Like now that. this is so obviously, I mean, if, if you're, you could attempt this at home, but yes. truly, there is no reason to with that beautiful flounder right there with that gorgeous arugula salad on there. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank and you. um, and real quick, I just wanted, if you are interested in buying gift certificates, you guys do have a special we going on. We do have specials going on. We actually have gift certificates. If you purchase over a hundred dollars in gift certificates, you get a twenty dollar gift certificate for perfect. free. Perfect. Perfect. Well then, please check out. Plums over in Beaufort or Bluffton now. Or Bluffton. And um, remember this beautiful treat, you can only get there. Thank you yes. so much, Thank Jeff. Thank you so much.